So this is going to be a quick tutorial on the uh, on the newer setup for the Ellie Skip in 2.5, uh, allowing you to play the level with the Kongs instead of turning into Ellie. So this setup, uh, optimally done, is about 40 frames slower than first try of the older setup, the one where you like land on the cliff and then team throw over the barrel. Uh, but it's it's a lot easier than that, and it's faster than second try or more of the of the old setup and this is really easy to do it, it it's a bit weird to get used to but once you do it a few times it should be really easy and consistent for you so I'm just gonna do it once to show what it looks like then I'll explain the different parts of it so and there we go that's it super easy. So there's a few different um, parts uh, you gotta watch out for and kind of different there's some like visual cues to use for this so I'm gonna go over them quickly. So the first thing you want to do is when you come in you want to do your second roll right at the edge like here and then just like run under the B. And the reason for this is that you see how the B kind of goes like up and down. So if Kitty's holding the barrel and the B is at the higher point, see you just saw it broke the barrel there. If the B is at the higher point, like that, then you can get under it with the barrel. But if the B is at its lower point, then it'll break the barrel. So you want to roll off the edge just to make make it so that you run under the B when it's high, like that, and drop a safe state here. So the next thing to do is you have to throw the barrel uh, into the water. So this isn't like super precise or anything. I try to do it when Kitty's like here, kind of like just like left of this tree in the background. Just stand there and up throw, and then it'll be like roughly in the middle of the pond. And that's where you want it to be do this trick. So having the barrel there will allow us to team throw off it. But in order to do this trick optimally, there's another thing you have to consider here, which is that you want to land on the barrel right after it gets in the water. Because if I do that, like this, I, I didn't do it properly. Okay, I need some momentum before I can do this. I'm gonna have to exit the stage. Then you jump right away. So, you see what happens is like the barrel is very slowly sinking into the water. And then after that, it's gonna just like bob up and down. Whereas if I were to just throw the barrel in and then just jump on it, it gets forced down really quickly and then starts bobbing. So in order to do this setup optimally, you want to do the former. You want to land on the barrel right away so that it doesn't get like pushed down like this and instead just sinks very slowly because that'll give you the height you need to team throw sooner than this. This is going to be kind of hard to do, honestly. Okay, I think I got it here. So, while the barrel's like sinking very slowly, you can see that like the camera at the top of the screen is moving down. And you actually have to wait for the camera to move far enough down that the Ellie barrel despawns, because right now the Ellie barrel is still spawned. So if I were to team throw here, I guess it wasn't there. But like, let's say I do this, but don't wait long enough. Yeah, then I throw into the alley barrel. No, this is... 
The safe state is not very good for this. Okay. So the visual cue that I'm looking for to make sure that it's safe to jump is you kind of see like the ground up here, it's like orange and then there's like brown below it. So the brown kind of comes here and then like bumps up here. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for that bump to be kind of at the top of the screen. And that means that it's safe to do the jump. Another visual cue you could use is on the DK barrel here. You see that like the D and the K come together to a point in the middle here. When that point is kind of at the surface of the water, that's the same visual cue. I think it corresponds to the same point in time. So you can use either of those visual cues. Um, maybe there's another one that you see, I don't know. And then you just have to jump far enough right, far enough, like, far enough right over the barrel to get past it. And there's a cue I use for that as well, to make sure that I actually am, which is kind of like Kitty's right foot here should be kind of like over the left half of the barrel. And it's easy. So you could save frames by trying to do this throw like as soon as possible. Like the visual cue that I said is not the first frame that you can do it on. But if you throw too early and throw Dixie into the Ellie barrel, then you will lose a lot of time. Because you either have to exit the stage and re-enter and do this again, or just play the stage as Ellie. Either one loses a fair bit of time. So, I mean, you can be greedy with frames, but just be as greedy as you want. So, the other thing is kind of um, in the worst case. So the worst case is when you jump on it like once it's already in the water and you force it down like that. So in this case, you can still do the trick, but it's a little tighter. So what you want to do is you want to wait until the barrel comes up to its highest point in bobbing up and down. So the cue that I use for this is kind of like the left part of this K. You should be able to see three pixels of the letter above the water. So here, here, and here. That's when the barrel's at its max height. So then you do the same thing. You just do like that. It's just a little bit tighter to get over the barrel. And like, you really need to have a good arc with your jump to like not land in the barrel. If you do too late, then yeah. It can also be kind of like, it can be difficult to get far enough right when this happens. So I think the most important thing that I can say in that regard is don't throw until Kitty starts falling from the peak of his jump. Cause like if I throw at the peak of his jump, then that's gonna happen. But if I let him fall a little bit from the peak of his jump first, like that, then you're far enough right that you can get past it. You don't need to be at the peak of your jump at all to have enough height to throw Dixie this far. It's far more important how far right you are. And that's basically all there is to this trick. Hopefully you find it easy like me and it makes running 103 that much more bearable. Thanks for watching.